Hey guys, what's going on? It's Top Tavern here, and welcome to another Call of Duty Ghost Live. And I'm mixing up a bit here today. I'm gonna be using an overpowered as fuck class I haven't used in quite a while, and mainly because I don't play pubs much. But I'm gonna be doing some public map search and destroy. And it so happened that we got the map flooded, which worked for me because primarily I'm looking for close range gunfights here. And I'm flooded through the map that will have a lot of those. And I'm gonna be using the M tower with muzzle break rapid fire. And for all you pub stompers out there, take note of this class. Um, you may want to put foregrip on instead of muzzle break. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'll have to see based on this. But I remember rapid fire is overpowered as shit. And you will melt, 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 melt. And I remember the first couple days of uh, me playing GBs in this game. And I was using rapid fire not knowing it was banned. And nobody actually noticed. It was kind of funny. But I have no idea where these guys spawn. I do have Amplify as well. So I'm going to be able to, to sound horse some people here. Hopefully we won't get shot in the back too much. And we die. Alright, this guy's got a little strat down of sitting in the back with the LMG on this map. That, that's alright. Let's see what my teammates can do here. That guy picks the guy up. We got a 1v2 situation, but he has the bomb down, so it's looking good for him. No. And nothing he could do there, really. You know, he had to check the bomb. He checked the bomb. He got the kill. He went to run away, but... And this guy, what is he doing? All right, for a minute there, I thought he wasn't even going to defuse it. Oh yeah, it is five second defuse. I forgot. Five second defuse in public matches. They have a lot of weird shit in public matches. Like you play to four, um, you don't switch rounds every time. Which I don't get why you not switch rounds. Like that's come. Like that's that's really unfair. Like it's a 50-50 shot. You're gonna get stuck with one of the sides and whichever side. Yeah, I'm running the wrong way here. I'm just gonna push directly up here. And look at that kill. I told you guys. I'm guessing that's the guy that there that guy called out. I'm just gonna kinda sit here on this haglet real quick. My guy my teammates have my back. We got three guys left here and we got all of our teammates up. I could plant the bomb. I'm I actually think I wanna do that. I'm just gonna I know he's here. I thought it was a teammate. But I'm gonna basically watch the same spot I was watching. And we got a pretty good setup here. I like what we're doing. Basically, I just gotta preempt this. My teammates have the bomb covered, and we pretty much got every path covered, and we got three left here as well. Here, got on my left, stomping his ass off. I think I'm gonna push this guy. Yeah, foregrip's definitely something you might want to consider using, cause for like that was a medium range gunfight that shouldn't be a problem, but it was kind of hard. As you can see, I got a big recoil boost right there. And I'm trying to control it, but it was a bit shaky. So I don't know. You definitely foregrip is an option, but if you hit your shots, like I could definitely see my accuracy being a lot better in the future. It's definitely debatable. Either one really works, but these guys are just trying to pre-snipe me. Like this guy kind of just cleared out this area for me. That was very nice of him, but there's somebody back here. I'm going to take him out. Got one guy. There's more guys back there. I'm just going to go for the bomb plant, actually. Right, we only got one guy left. Of hand. I'm pretty sure he was in the back spawn unless somebody else killed him. I should be able to sound horror from here, I'm assuming, but I'm not really worried about a ninja. And boom, boom, we my teammates pick up the guy. And look at this. This is the kind of stuff you do see in public matches. <laughs> and search and destroy has to be the most 
goof around endured game mode there is. Like, pretty much nobody, well, I shouldn't say nobody, but some people, like, for the most part, it's just a, uh, it's just a way to goof around and shit. Right, this is how they were pre-sniping me, right here. Which I actually want to try not to drown here. But I'm not too sure if anybody crossed or not. I don't, I didn't see him, but one guy's above me, actually. I'm not... I, I should be able to get the guy above me. He, I believe he's still up here. I don't know where he is, honestly. Where's he like? Oh shit! Oh shit! What the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm putting four grip on in the future. Like shots like that, I should be able to at least get some shot. I, I, I can't even burst fire this thing at that range. Excellent job, but nope, this is probably more powerful than the bio. Well, it's definitely more powerful than the bios in close range, and that's saying something. This guy got turned on right here. Damn. Hey, I, he has a gold Remington, too. Nice. Good shit, buddy. I remember that was my pub stopping gun. Well, one of them. Extended mags. Um, yeah, extended mag suppressor was the pump stopping shit. No, fuck. Am I gonna die? I, I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, I died. Um, that's awkward. All right, well, I guess this, is up to, this rounds up to my teammates because I failed the jump, and apparently that means you drowned. So let's see if we can get some action. Let's check out this guy. This guy seems to know what he's doing. He's got the nice uh, reflex going on. Oh, he, he discovered somebody. All right. Is he going to drown himself? Is that his plan? What the hell is he doing? What is going on? It, all right. So it's a three v one. Let's see if my teammates can choke this. I doubt it. Basically, it's just you know it's fucking hide and go seek right now. I'm hoping my teammates don't get picked off one by one, which is a possibility. But it doesn't seem like we really have anybody that knows what they're doing on the enemy team, except for the guy that is up. He is eight and three. So I'm not going to sit here and say he doesn't know what he's doing, but I'm going to find out. We'll see if this guy can clutch up when needed. Parking garage, so he's nearby. Time's almost up. He's, uh, yeah, he's on to him. He found him, boys, and we're cleaning up the game here. In public mad search and destroy. Let me know, guys, if you want to see any more of this. Um, it's just I'm kind of messing around. Um, I'm gonna continue with the Kai Ghost Live series. I'm not sure if search and destroy is something you guys would be interested in seeing for this. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some more respawn in the future for Kai Ghost Live. And this was just kind of an experiment. Let me know what you think about it. But we managed to 4-1 this team. They weren't the best players, obviously, and they, obviously you could see some people quit. But you know, there's only so much you can do in public mad search and destroy. You know. Public Mass Search Destroy is Public Mass Search and Destroy. That's all for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to like the video. And that's all for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.